everybody, Anne here, just sitting here on my porch in the sunshine. Wow, well, the sun is going in and out of the clouds. Having my coffee with all of you. Another day and another whole night with Betty not having any kind of seizure activity. Uh, she woke up just before 3 a.m. today again, and I gave her a little snack, some crackers, some peanut butter crackers. Um, and she's fine this morning. She's been barking at everything. In fact, I wish she would kind of calm down a little bit. So today, well, um, I've got to empty the composting toilet, um, and actually I don't empty it right away. I just empty one of the other ones that's been composting for a while, wash it out, and then put that inside. Um, so I have to take the other one out, put a lid on it, and set it out back and let it compost for a while until I dump it in the compost heap. I'm not going to show you all that because, you know what, you just don't want to deal with the poo stuff, you know. I don't even like dealing with it, but the good thing is, is it's not smelly, so that's good. Um, and you know what, I downloaded two apps, so today I'm going to go around my property and take some photos of some different things that are growing that I don't know what they are and see if these two apps can identify them appropriately. I've used one before, it's called Plant Snap, and I just found that to not be very good. And there was so much gibberish in it, I don't know who updates them, just the general public or whatever. Um, so I downloaded that again, I'm going to give it another try. Somebody in the comments section suggested Plant Net. So I downloaded that app too. And I'm going to put them against each other and see which ones are correct. I mean, I don't know because most of these plants, I don't know what the heck they are. So you're just going to have to help me out with all of that. Let's get started with plant app. Let me pick out something from my gallery. Let's use the berries. Let's see if it, it picks out blackberries like all of you have said. Canadian black snake root? Huh. But then it says black raspberries after that. And it gives me a few more suggestions. All you gotta do is click it on and you can research a little bit more about it. But in the interest of time, I'm not going to do that. Uh, this time I'm gonna pick leaf and see if it identifies it correctly. Nope, it says still the Canadian black whatever. All right, let's try um, this other one. Plant snap. Let's see if it can identify the berry correctly. Now this is a little bit different than what I remember it before. Oh, false ginseng. Not even close. Oh my gosh. Alpine strawberry, red raspberry, whatever. All right, let's try it again with a different photo and see if I can identify it correctly. There's Betty. <laughs> Clematis. Oh my goodness. Well, to be honest, and it didn't even have, oh my goodness, look at that purple flowering blackberry. Not even close. All right, let's try something else with plant stamp. Let's choose a mushroom. And I'm going to try and zoom in on this mushroom as best as I can, as close as possible. Let's see. And Eastern American Flowery Amanita. Well, it is probably an Amanita, but it's not the flowery one. I'm more inclined toward the false death cap. Let's see what Plant App says. Same photo. I'm going to use the fruit, the fruit selection. Because that is the fruiting body up. Oh, maybe a fungi. Let's try something else in plant net. Let's try this little vining thingy. Looks like green briar. It could be any one of those. All right, let's try plant snap. Same photo and see what it says. Yep, pretty much the same thing. It's a kind of green briar. Yeah, and they grow all over the place. Plentiful. Okay, now let's try something else with plant snap. Um, let's try a fern. I have these growing everywhere and they're so beautiful. Alrighty. 
Christmas fern. All right, that's interesting. Royal fern, okay, let's try plant net or whatever. Identify using leaves, duh. Christmas fern, okay, so they both agree with that. Cool, pretty cool, man. And they give you lots of other possibilities. You just gotta pull them up and see which one looks closest to yours. All right, let's try something else. Hmm, <laughs> so many things to choose from. Let me try. Yeah, let's try this fern, or weed, or whatever it is. Results, ragweed. <laughs> well, it's, it's growing everywhere, common wormwood. I'll go back and, and look at the explanations of these and see if I can find anything more interesting about them. Poison hemlock, oh my gosh. All right, plant snap. What does plant snap say? My goodness, I've gotten so bit up by the bugs today. Oh, bleeding heart, nope, not even close. It's not that. And it gives you a few more suggestions, including different kinds of ragweed. Okay, let's try something else with Plant Snap. <laughs> uh, let's try this fern, because they're a little bit different than the other ones. Let's see what they are. Sensitive fern, huh? I don't know. Garden valerian. Let's try plant net and see what it says. Use the same photo. Sensitive fern. They agree. It's a pretty fern. All right. Let's try another one. Let me choose. Yes, this one. I wanted to know if I could eat this. Can I eat it? Woodland lettuce, looks like it. All different kinds of lettuces are listed. So it looked like the first one the most though. It sure did. I figured I could eat it. Okay, let's try plant snap and see what it says. I feel like a salad for dinner tonight. Wall lettuce. Oh, but it's got those little flowers. I haven't seen any flowers yet though. Huh, interesting. I'll have to watch it and see if it flowers. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Well, you know what? Yep, list more lettuce. I think I like both of these. I'm gonna give them both a try. All right, I think that's about enough of me traipsing around in the woods. Uh, getting eat up by bugs. It's horrible, but you know what? Oh, and here's another thing about me. I used to always wear dresses and they would come way, can you see? Way down to the ground. See that? <laughs> it's a dress, it's a long denim dress. I still got my boots on. I've got some news that I think is potentially very good. Some lovely person not only sent me vinegar, but also sent me alcohol two big bottles of it and I'm so sick of these ants that they were and they're coming up on the porch so I just poured it over a bunch of them and look it kills them not only that but the other ants try and avoid the alcohol let's see what this little ant does oh it's running away see it's like I'm having none of that alcohol let's see what it does come on nope it disappeared so I don't know Maybe, maybe alcohol is key. Look at all these other ones. They're like totally avoiding the alcohol spots, except for that one that's walking through it. And you know what that means? It's gonna die pretty soon, probably. So, it's gotta be pretty fresh alcohol, though, I think, because it evaporates pretty quickly. Let's see, watch this one. Let's see what it's gonna do. It looks like it's trying to avoid the alcohol. Yeah. I don't know guys, maybe maybe I have found a solution, at least up here on my porch. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little 
plant app comparison thing. It's not a comprehensive view of what they can both do, and I think a lot of you already know that, but I'm going to dive into them both and give them both a chance. Uh, plant Snap seems like it's improved a little. Anyhow, uh, I got some things, and I want to show them to you, but this video is long enough already, so I'll save them for tomorrow. Uh, one of the things that I ordered came in today. It wasn't supposed to be in for a few days, and then I received some cool things from some other people, some off my wish list, some were just total surprises. Um, so I'll show you those all tomorrow because, well, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.